What I'm hooked into with the meter is the power supply from the fuel pump module down into the in-tank modular fuel pump assembly. Very much, as I mentioned before, a similar pump what you're used to dealing with. But now we've got a fuel pump module, not a new thing. If you're a Ford tech and you've been working on some of those sequential injected Fords, they're doing a pulse with modulated output from the module down to the pump as well. But this is very fast. If we just look at the raw voltage averaged out on the multimeter, I've got about five volts meaning we don't have a voltage drop, we have a duty cycle that's off and on. Let me turn the meter to duty cycle. And we're on about 38 or 39% of the time and off the remainder. So that's why I only have about five volts, that's normal. If you didn't know that, you'd be replacing a fuel pump that was okay or a fuel pump module that was okay. So I'll go ahead and go to Hertz now. 24.99, we'll call it 25, and look at the K for kilo HZ hertz. So 25,000 times per second, this is turning off and on. Let me adjust the time based on my scope here in a second. But that's giving you an idea of what you can see with your meter. If you've got a meter that can measure frequency and duty cycle, you're in pretty good standing checking these fuel pump modules out and to see what is going out to the pump from the module. Obviously, the duty cycle will fatten up if the pump under the hood is struggling to make the necessary high pressure that we need for those direct injectors to deliver the correct amount of fuel.